now that we've guarded a route and uh, we're able to protect it from uh, from unauthenticated users, basically a user who hasn't logged in or created an account or any of those things, um, I sort of see a problem that we're going to run into. We have this entire code that isn't really related to the business logic of what this route handler is. In fact, if we take a look at this, over half the lines are dedicated to just checking to see if the user is logged in and uh, we don't even care about it. Like we're, we are, we do need to get the user to then set on it. But besides that, that's not really something we need. And we're going to need to replicate this uh, many times. So for example, in get one task, get all tasks and delete a task, um, create a task, all of those we're going to uh, we're going to need to um, to guard it and to um, add some kind of authentication guard. Let's um let's go ahead and uh, and write this into a custom middleware so that we only have to define this once and then we can use that. Uh, okay, so let's create a new file and uh, we're gonna name this, it's not a good idea to name it just like pure middleware. So I wanna name this something like maybe um, uh, guard uh, .rs. We're gonna mod this here. Uh, so it's just very similar to the other uh, asynchronous functions. So pub async function. We'll do guard. Uh, if we come back to here, we'll use guard guard. Um, and then if we remember back from middleware, we um, whatever we put, like this layer is now available all the way up above it. But now like that's okay for having like the database be available to everything. It's not okay for guarding things because, for example, this hello world, we want to make sure that anybody can use it. So I'm actually going to define this up here. So we're going to do our route layer, uh, middleware, from function, guard. Now you're upset because this function is expected to take two different arguments. Uh, so guard actually needs to take in a... Um, a generic type and inside of here we're going to have the request so want our request uh, which is going to be a request type t uh, and then we have next which is going to be a next type t and we absolutely have to return a result um, the success for this is going to be a response and the error can be whatever error type we want so in this case we can make it the status code uh, let's go ahead and to do this okay so you're happy here and you're back to being happy over here excellent so guarding it it's going to be very very similar to what we're doing inside of the uh, logout route we want to first grab the token from uh, the the, um, the headers. Um, and just like in the router section, we, um, uh, we don't have access to just extensions up here in the function signature. I'm gonna have to grab those out separately. So let's do token equals. Okay, so we have our request. Uh, we want the extensions. I don't need to be mutable. Uh, I want to get an extension that gives me a, what's that? Um, oh, I want extensions or is it, oh, it's headers. I want, I want headers, not extensions. Uh, extensions were going to be for the database side. Uh, headers, I want to get, um, we have this tripe tie get. It's not what I want. I want typed get. There we go. Uh, for the typed get, I want this to be the authorization. 
Uh, and then here we're doing bearer. Okay, so that gives me an option. Uh, okay, so if this doesn't exist, I want it to throw an error. So I'm gonna do an okay or, and uh, if, if, so if it's a none, it's gonna do the or part of this. And in that case is gonna be a status code of, um, this is a 404, so bad request. And we can now, no D there. We can semicolon that. Okay, that gives us an authorization bearer. I want the token out of it. And I want to, let's, um, to own this to give it to us. We need to do this so that we stop using request uh, just in case we need the request later. It's, um, it's gonna be sort of like, partially being used and it, it gets the borrow checker is a little bit unhappy with that. Um, okay, so we have our token and our string. Uh, so we need, need to verify that this token is exactly what we expect it to be, which means we now need to get the database out, which is the extensions. So let database equals, okay, so we have request uh, extensions. Again, it's just this we want to do a get um for the get here it does take this t type so you are going to be the database connection and i'm going to do an okay or uh in this case it's going to be a status code uh internal server error and I can question mark semicolon that too. All right, so we have our token, we have a database, uh, we need to pull in the model. So let's do this, uh, use create uh, database users entity as users. We can now do a query. So let our user equals uh, users. We want to just do a find. Um, we want to filter. Uh, this is gonna be users column uh, token. We wanna make sure it's set equal to the, uh, the token in here. That's gonna be a sum token. Giving the ownership to that is fine. Uh, we can just get one, pass it that. I can just um, pass it the full database because we already have it as a reference here. Uh, we'll await, we'll map this error. I don't care about that one. It's just gonna be an internal server error. So we're gonna return a status code, internal server error. Question mark semicolon. Okay, um, now if this fails, so if 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 this is a none actually, it means that uh, we found a user. Well, at least we didn't find the token in the database. That's what it is. We didn't find the token in the database. If we don't find the token in the database, it's because they're logged out. It's a bad token, so it's an unauthorized thing. Now there's a cool new feature in Rust if uh, you're using the latest as, uh, let's see, I'm on 165, uh, where we can use a let binding. Um, so we don't have to do an if let thing and return. Um, we can just go straight to this. We're gonna do let sum user equals uh, user. That's great, that gives me a model, but if I do a semicolon here, um, should, yeah, it should let, should yell at me now saying like, well, what happens if it's a nut? Well, we're gonna do an else, have a block here, and I'm gonna return a, return an error with the status code of unauthorized. And so at this point, I have access to user at this sort of, root level of the function, which is really nice. Okay, so I have user. Uh, I want to now add this user into an extension for all routes above me to uh, have access to. 
So uh, we are going to need to set this request as a mutable request. So we can now mutate it. Uh, we're gonna do a request dot extensions mute. I want to now insert as some kind of value. So like whatever I feel like, which in this case can be a user. And that's that's it. Semicolon there. Uh, you seem to be fine here. We don't want to, uh, to do, we need to return this request uh, by calling next. So we're gonna return okay. Uh, we're gonna call next dot um, run. Uh, we have to pass in the request and await it. And that's it, that's our middleware. So now everything above this middleware um, absolutely must have authentication to work, otherwise it will yell at you. So let's uh, go ahead and move our logout above here and we're gonna refactor logout to now uh, use this middleware instead of what just doing the guard itself. Okay, so two users. So what do we need to do? Well, we don't want to do any of this anymore, do we? We don't need it. Uh, we do need the user at this point. Uh, so we want to get extension. Uh, we want user. That's going to be extension. Um, it's going to be a model from users. Okay. Um, all right, mismatch types, uh, it wants to, oh, set the token to none. Okay, so that's fine. Oh, but we can't do this because we need an active model. So let's do let, we'll just shout out user here. So user, and this needs to be mutable too. All right, user dot into active model. That makes it happy. We don't need this authorization type header. We don't need that anymore because that's happening in the middleware. Um, this is this is all we need. So at this point, our backend is uh, is just really focused on the only thing it needs to do. It needs access to the user. Um, it needs to make sure that the user is authenticated, um, and then it needs to just do something to the user. That's it. Simple. So we then can go back to uh, our do Thunder Clant in our collections. Let's uh, make sure we log in. And then we'll do a log out. And it's, it's still working. Everything is still working as expected. Uh, and we have successfully uh, refactored our, um, our routes to use this um, uh, to use this, which is really nice. Now, if you want to sort of like change everything else, all you have to do is move it above this middleware and it will now require that token to be passed in the header and it will get the user for you so that user will be available in the extension. Anyways, hopefully this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.